All right, we saw a pretty great performance by Mike White against the Chicago Bears. His numbers were fantastic. How much of it was him being great? How much of it was the Bears defense sucking? Definitely some of both. But I want to talk about him, his performance, and what this means for the Jets moving forward. Is it just a lock that he will be the starter going into a tough stretch against the Vikings and Bills the next couple of weeks? Or if he plays poorly in a couple of games, is the door still open for another quarterback change? Well, First, let's talk about how he played, how he performed, and what that could mean for the Jets moving forward. So, we're going to start off with this play, which is a really good play by Garrett Wilson, in fact. You see, it's going to end up being a one-on-one -on -one matchup, but Wilson is going to really show off his route running here, I think. Watch as this play begins. Wilson kind of fakes it was going to the inside, and you see the corner who's covering him totally bit on that fake to the point where he's just trying to grab on to Wilson at this point take the penalty which on a third down would be a guaranteed first down you know first down and goal inside the five would not be ideal but it's better than giving up a touchdown so the hold is what he's you know trying to pull off here however he doesn't even get a great grip on Garrett Wilson Wilson moves to the outside I, I like that call to call it on the defense not on the offense I thought that was correct just a really good well-ran route from Garrett Wilson and his ability to move has certainly at times paid dividends and maybe with a quarterback who can hit him the ball with more accuracy we could see Garrett Wilson you know really start to thrive like this play was an even better one apologies this play is a little blurry not sure what happened there the rest aren't like that so uh just bear with me for this one but the concept is designed to get Garrett Wilson the ball and that's really I think the main reason why I think Mike White has performed so much better than Zach Wilson is Mike White's skill set is perfectly fit to run this Jets offense. He is kind of that, I don't know, maybe a Jimmy Garoppolo type, uh, which might seem like an insult. I don't think it's supposed to be. I think that that's, uh, you know, I, I can see that comparison. Granted, we've also seen him look very much not even up to Jimmy Garoppolo in you know, the small sample size we've seen him play. Depends on which game you see him in. But still, we've seen him look very good when things are going well. And this is an example of you have a concept designed to get Garrett Wilson, who he's kind of the second receiver who's going to run over the middle. You have the first receiver kind of just draw attention, and then Wilson kind of follows and hopefully gets open. Watch how when White takes the snap, runs the play action, and eventually fires towards Garrett Wilson. You see just how open he gets and listen do I think Zach Wilson could have made that throw sure I think he probably could have but the reality is Mike White's just hitting them at a higher rate than Zach Wilson was granted there's also a lot more of these plays uh there were a lot more of these plays against the Bears than there were against the Patriots obviously like that's obviously a very clear difference it's you, you know of course I think everyone knows that I don't think anyone is sitting here and just looking at the box score stats and saying wow look at how much better Mike White is obviously the situations have changed but still White is doing a very good job and White has I think been very good at this stuff it helps that Garrett Wilson is then going to make a move and get a ton more yards after the catch. He eventually gets into the end zone for a touchdown. Can't show the whole play. It'll get copyrighted, but I'll cut it off there. You get the idea. So again, just these kind of simple plays, as Robert Sala said after the game, he made the easy stuff look easy, and that's a, a, an exact example of that, of making something easy look easy, which Zach Wilson had a tendency of making easy things look difficult. Going over here, it's going to be a, you know, another really good, well-ran route here, I would say. This is going to be Elijah Moore, who's going to do a really good job on this play. So it's zone coverage with a single safety deep, and kind of the way that it works is with Elijah Moore, the route he's running, he's going to kind of fake as though he's going over the middle, but eventually get to the outside. Look at how, when Elijah Moore runs this route, really good job of kind of selling as though he's going over the middle, so that when he does cut back to the outside, and again, I know you couldn't see all of that uh, because it ran, he ran off screen, but what we did see, you could tell he kind of sold that fake a little bit, and he's able to get to the point where he's able to build a pretty significant cushion for Mike White but one of the things too is like you know I do think it's worth mentioning that for a quarterback these plays do happen at certain points in the game a lot of times part of why receivers can look more open can be because of the quarterback they make the right read make the throw at the right time that kind of stuff can help but of course also helps that Elijah Moore is getting this open Moore is able to make the grab and they're able to get the touchdown plays like this I think are really were Mike White thrives. I think this is his best attribute. That other stuff is good, but that other stuff is kind of good by the Jets offense, right? And again, you could even argue bad by the Bears defense. I don't know how much you, know, you want to say, but this is where I think Mike White really thrives. And while the other stuff, I'm like, I think Mike White does that better than Zach Wilson, but I can't say for certain because it is, you know, different game against a bad defense. But stuff like this, I'm like, Mike White clearly does better than Zach Wilson. He does better 
he does this better than a lot of quarterbacks, in fact. It's not just like he's not trash at it. He's legitimately good at it. The way this concept works is you can kind of tell how it can work, right? You have three eligible receivers going to the offenses, right? And all the way outside the numbers, there's really only two Bears players there. A corner who's deep and another player who's covering kind of that flat area, 5 to 15 yards down the field. So you put one around 15 yards down the field, another one just runs deep, and then you have a tight end who runs shallow. The idea is that for Chicago, only two guys. You have three guys to cover. White can hit the other player. Now, maybe a linebacker will read it and get in position, but it doesn't always happen. Especially one since Mike White is going to run a play action that gets linebackers more out of position. And when he fires over the middle, you see how the corner stayed deep. The other player went shallow, meaning that the middle area was the one that ended up getting open. And with linebackers out of position, no one was able to pick him up. You have an open player. What Mike White does well here is just read these plays. Know where to put the ball, not hesitate, and get it there quickly. For a young player, that's not so easy to do, but he does a very good job at it. As you see, Tyler Conklin makes the catch and are able to get a decent chunk play there. And again, that stuff doesn't seem very difficult, but trust me, there is a talent to that stuff. Not everyone can do it, but Mike White can, and I think that him doing that is absolutely a big benefit and really helps out this New York Jets team. A play like this is another example of very much the same play. Not exactly the same play. There's a slight difference. Like, for example, instead of a tight end being the sort of check down route, it's now a halfback. But again, very same idea, same general philosophy here. However, this time when Mike White runs the play action, Chicago reads this play and says, okay, let's stay deep. Let's cover the two deeper routes, which is what you're supposed to do. But again, a lot of quarterbacks, I think, would kind of try to hopefully wait, see if maybe something can open up down the field, but that's not your job. Your job is to run the offense the way the offensive coordinator designed, and Mike White does a very good job at that. Watch him throw underneath. They're able to pick up a big gain, and then, hey, you know, make a move, able to get the first down right there. So a lot of people might say, hey, that was just a good play by Zonovan Knight. That's all that happened there. Sure, that was, but also he was able to make that good play because of Mike White running the offense very effectively. So what does this mean for the Jets? Honestly, I don't think it means that much. I just don't. I, I like Mike White. I like what he can do. Uh, I just don't know just yet. I mean, we saw him last year have some really good games, that 400-yard game against Cincinnati. He also had some really bad games, that four-interception game against Buffalo. He was able to do very well against a bad defense. I trust him to do very well against a bad defense. He's, to me, shown that he can do that and is very capable of doing that. What we also saw was he did struggle when he played the Patriots and when he played the Bills. So now going up against Minnesota, whose defense has been very spotty this season, and then Buffalo, who was the one who got him benched last season. I honestly have no idea what they're going to do with Mike White. I don't know where this, you know, what, where they go from here. I don't know what they do. But at the end of the day, if you're making throws like this and running the offense well, uh, you at least have the job for now, and we'll see if he can keep it for a while. Uh, feels like it's going to be kind of his to lose, though, as opposed to, I don't think Zach Wilson can win it with practice. I think that Mike Wilson's, uh, that, excuse me, that Mike White will have to lose it couple of tough weeks, but if you can get past those couple of tough weeks and still have the job, you then have the Lions, the Jaguars, the Seahawks, and the Dolphins, uh, beatable defenses across the board. He's the quarterback for the rest of the way if he can just survive these next two weeks. And he's probably the quarterback the rest of the way regardless, but I don't know. I can't say for certain. That's kind of what I think about all this. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.